Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's tutorial using the Natasha Denona Love Palette and the Natasha Denona Love Glow and Cheek Palette. So this was a recent launch from Natasha Denona and I believe it's like a limited edition palette and I figured it was perfect for a Valentine. It was released for Valentine, so like why not do a tutorial with it? So if you want to get this little more of a vampy Valentine look, then keep on watching. If you want to see more tutorials, hit the like button, subscribe, chit chat down in the comments if you have any suggestions on what palettes I should use next. Um, I do plan on purchasing the Jeffree Star Bloodlust collection, so if you would like to see that, stay tuned for another video. Um, besides that, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. So this is what the Natasha Denona Love Palette looks like. And when I go ahead and open it up, now you can see I've already kind of played with it, but I really enjoy this palette because it's got the purples over here and then it works its way to the reds. So I just really love the layout of this palette itself and it kind of just suits it because, you know, it's Valentine's Day. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Sedona Lace 407 brush. It's going to be this angled fluffy crease brush here and I'm going to just jump into the shade Valentine. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the shade in my crease. I'm going to apply it heavier in my inner corner opposed to my outer corner. So I know that I keep saying I'm going to put up more content and work harder <laughs> and yet it's been like a month since I posted. Um, I've just been really busy. We're focusing on moving right now and we finally got a house and I do have three kids. It's my life is busy. My husband and wife, they own a medical practice. Things are busy in our house. But I also took a trip to Orlando in the end of January. I guess like maybe more mid-January. And that trip didn't go as planned, so it kind of like kind of bummed me out a little bit. Uh, we tried to make up for it on the last day by going to Disney World. Well, we actually went to Hollywood Studios where they have all the Star Wars attractions, which was a lot of fun. I'm a big Star Wars fan. In fact, like back here, I have my like replica of Darth Vader's hilt. So I actually picked that up when I was there in Disney. And it's like a very good replica if anyone cares. But we did that, made a little side trip to the Golden Nugget, which I will not say no to a casino because I do enjoy myself. So for the next shade, I'm going to go ahead and use that exact same brush and dip into the shade Intense. So this one's a little bit more of a darker pink and I'm going to apply this right underneath the shade Valentine. Now I'm just going to swipe it back and forth and then kind of blend it upwards a little bit but not completely covering up that shade Valentine. But and then Ethan's birthday was at the end of January. Ethan's my youngest. Uh, we did like a little Curious George themed birthday party. He really loves Curious George. Or he really loves Jack Johnson. It's, it's one or the other. So. But January was just like the longest. I don't know. It was good. Then it was bad. Then it was good. It was just. It felt like a long month. For sure. And I hear people talking about it. And they're like this is like the longest year. It was a year. Like I swear. Now I'm going to go in with a more fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into the shade Heartbeat and apply that to the outer corner. I'm going to just pack it, lightly blend upwards, but I really want to make sure that we keep those previous shades there. So, and then blend it towards the center of the eyelid. But honestly, I'm starting to think I really suck at YouTube because I try to make the time to come up here and then I'm rather just really tired or just other stuff going on. And now we're about to move. So that will be fun because we just got that confirmation yesterday. And I'm really excited to get off the water and basically trade our backyard of a lake into a backyard with a fenced in swimming pool and hot tub. So that will be really nice and it'd be a lot easier to take the kids out back. Now 
with that same brush, I'm going to dip into the shade Heart. So this one's more of a true red. And I'm going to apply that into the center eyelid. And kind of work my way down to the inner corner. But packing it mostly on the middle. I'm gonna take a larger fluffier brush and this one is a Lexi 209 large shader brush it's a clean brush so I'm gonna kind of just blend everything out before I start applying some of the shimmer shades so I'm just gonna kind of swipe it up here in my brow bone in my crease blending everything out making everything look a little bit more seamless and I'm gonna take that same brush and dust it into the shade Valentine and kind of reapply it on both eyelids. But with Valentine's coming up, you know, it kind of puts everyone in a good mood. At least it puts me in a good mood. I enjoy Valentine's. I enjoy like the pinks, the reds, the girliness, the getting ready to go out, go have a nice dinner, you know, without my children. <laughs> so that will be nice. What is everyone else's plans for Valentine's? I know some people do like Galentine's, so they go hang out with their girlfriends. I know all of, most of my girlfriends, they're doing something with their husband. So next I wanna go ahead and dip into a shimmer shade and I'm gonna be using the shade Giving and I'm gonna take my finger and apply it on my inner corner and blending it in with the shade Heart. I'm gonna go ahead and just press it down in there. So to intensify that shimmer, I'm gonna go ahead and take a precise little eyeshadow brush here. I'm going to spritz it down with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Mist. And I'm going to dip back into giving and lay it down just to intensify it. To do the bottom lash line, I'm going to go ahead and take that shade Heart. I'm going to use that with a smudge brush. Just kind of smudge it along the bottom lash line. Bring it almost to that inner corner, but not quite in there. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking. She's a little senile and she doesn't like doors to be closed and we have baby gates and she barks at them to be open and she doesn't really need anything in there she just wants to free room of the house and at her age unfortunately she cannot have free room of the house because she does fall quite a bit so she kind of has to be in you know she's kind of be watched all the time take that same smudge brush and dip back into that shade intense and finish out that lash line So with the eyelid completed, I'm going to go ahead and move on to some lashes and I'm going to be using the Ardell 852 3D Foam Ink Lashes and they look like this. I really like these for when you kind of use a monochromatic look because they're kind of big and fluffy so you can see the eye look through the lashes but it's still, it kind of just adds like a little bit of a sultry feel to your eyeshadow look. So I'm going to hop off camera and do that and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and I applied my lashes and some lipstick and um, I ended up doing no eyeliner. I feel like the eyes are bold enough and I just used a black liner to 
tight line and put in my waterline. And then I also use the Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Wicked on my lips. So next I want to go ahead and use the Natasha Denona Love Glow Cheek Palette. This was released with the eyeshadow palette. And I already applied the cream blush um, because I filmed this already, but I forgot to turn my music off. So this is the cream blush right here. Um, oh, that wasn't smart. So there's a cream blush right here, and then these two look like they're toppers, and this is a highlight. So I did apply the cream blush, and I did use like a fluffy um, blush brush to apply that. So I'm going to apply one of the toppers. I'm going to be using a Luxie 512 Small Contouring Brush. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into the Super Glow shade. So that's going to be the shade right next to the cream. I'm just going to pick it up from there and just lightly apply it. I'm just layering it on top of that cream base. Next, I'm going to be using a Morphe & Jeffree Star JS4 brush. And I'm going to use that to pick up the Glow Impact Powder, which is looks like the highlight shade. I'm going to go ahead and apply this on the high points of my face. I'm also going to put a little bit on my nose. And when I mean a little bit, I mean apparently a shit ton. And finally, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. I'm going to use this Moto one. And I'm going to kind of just swirl it all over my face right here to kind of give it a little bit of a blend just to make sure I have no harsh lines. I am not a fan of harsh lines. So now it's time to set the face. I'm going to be using the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. And I'm just going to go ahead and spray myself down. So this is the finished look. I actually really enjoy this palette and I really enjoyed the cheek palette as well. And at first when I got the palette, like the cheek palette especially, I was a little bit concerned that like that bright pink and that bright coral were going to be like too intense. And they, honestly they're not, they're buildable. So they, they come off really soft and not as like bam in your face. So, and I love this eyeshadow palette. Uh, this is probably like the fifth or sixth time of me using it, and I still can't stop using it. So, if you would like to see some more tutorials, if you really like this look, go ahead and like this. Um, subscribe. I promise that I will put up at least one more video this weekend. I am not lying. I am not just saying this. And comment down below what you're doing for Valentine's Day. Let me know. And until next time, bye.